everyone and welcome to Chaomi Ray Makeup Studio. Today I'll be giving you a tour of the studio and my makeup storage. So I hope you all enjoy. So I'm going to work my way clockwise around my studio. It's taken me quite a while um, to actually film this video because I've been making certain changes I've wanted to make, things I weren't happy with and also waiting on items such as backdrops, beauty beds and little pieces I just wanted to finish off this room with. So the first item I'm going to talk about is my little heater I got from Amazon. It heats up the room so quickly. If you do want the link just let me know but my mum actually purchased it for me. I think it was around £50 and is really safe. Next item here is my beauty bed. I actually of Facebook Marketplace. Someone didn't want it anymore and I thought I'd recycle it, give it a new home, um, gave it a clean up and I use this to do teeth whitening on so my clients are more comfortable. This is the lighting I use. These are the newer panels. I have two of these each side of the front of my room and I have a lot of natural daylight, which I love. I wanted a nice big window. These were from Amazon. Um, they are expensive, but they are really worth it. You can change the warmth and the cool tone of these lights and they're extremely bright. This is actually one of the changes I made to this room because I had other lighting and it just wasn't really working. I think they're around 170, 180 pound for two but I'm really happy I invested in these. These are my storage cupboards that I actually got from Ikea. They're perfect just to put any extras in. And I'm actually gonna show you what is inside today. So this is the inside of my cupboards. Um, it's great for extra items I just need to hide away. Um, they come with basically four shelves. It gives you six little slots, but I've taken one down as you can see because I actually wanted to hide my bin inside the cupboard. So on the first shelf, I've got all my teeth whitening equipment there. Um, any waiver forms that I need to fill out. The next shelf down, I have extras. So I have extra hair rollers, extra makeup wipes, extra makeup and sponges, and extra glove and visors. The third drawer down, I have an extra certificate that's just hiding in there. I need to get a frame for that one. And I also have any travel bags. So I have the travel bags for my lighting, my makeup brushes, and my backdrop. This little slot, I have all of my round brushes and any equipment I need to do a curly blow dry, oils, brushes, clips, and grips, and also a towel. And this one is more of a cleaning one. So I have a bin, antibacterial wipes, I have business cards and vouchers, I have room spray and flush spray and that's just a face mask at the back, I don't really know why that's there. On my wall next to my window I have a couple of certificates. I actually need to get more frames so I can put more certificates up but there's just a couple up there and the frames I think are from B&M or Home Bargains but they were such a bargain and they're so sparkly, I love them. I have to mention this beautiful card that my friend TJ got for me when I first opened this studio. It's so beautiful, I think I might actually frame it and put it on the wall because I just want to keep it forever. My three little jars are on top of my cupboard. I think these are from B&M and I've just filled them with little pink spoolies, cotton buds and some little sweets, I think they're the Mentos. But I just think they look really cute on display and it's something I can just reach for with ease. Now I'm going to be showing you all three of my little travel bags that I take with me if I'm travelling to a client. This is my NYX professional makeup box. I think I just got this online or as a gift and I'm going to show you what's inside all my travel boxes. Okay, so this is what's inside my travel boxes. This is my kit. So I'm going to start from left to right. We have Real Technique sponges. We have concealers and mascaras in the second little drawer. And then in this little pouch, I have all my concealers. So I have dark and light, all different colors, all different skin tones, and also all different coverages. This pouch is from Primark. I then have all of my powders. So all my setting powders, all of my bronzers, 
all of my blushes and highlighters. And I also have a little pair of soap stuck in there. It's more to the sides. Just needs a bit of a clean. As you can imagine, it gets really dirty when I'm doing people's makeup. In this little drawer, I have all my eyeliners. So we have coloured ones in there, white, black. I have a little freck down here. And I also have a little brow box there. This one, I have all brow products. I've got some tools as well. I've got a pencil sharpener, some scissors, mostly brow gels and brow pencils. And then I also have some pomades here. I also have a little Inglot eyeliner there because it doesn't fit in the other drawer. So that's my NYX box. Now I have these little travel bags. This is the Molly O'Brien travel bag. And this one is the Isabella Scott. My mum got this for me as a gift, but I always take these two when I go to clients and I'm gonna show you what's inside both of these and how I store them. So inside this front little bit here, I have a travel ISO clean, not much left, but I can fill it up with my other big bottle that I have. I always carry some makeup wipes with me and I also have a little palette in here just because it fits really nicely. Really powdery at the minute, but this palette is beautiful. Now, in this little pouch here, where it actually says Molly O'Brien, this actually comes off because it's Velcro. I've got a lot of my P. Louise concealer rumor bases in here, all different colours. Be Perfect one. Um, I also have my little stamp for when I um, stamp clients' loyalty cards. Pro Longwear Concealer, some loyalty cards for clients. Just found something I've been looking for for ages, a little spatula. So each side of this bag, they have little pouches and I like to fill them with cotton buds and also spoolies. So inside the actual bag, I have a bag full of lashes, the Ardell Wispies, I have lots of classy lashes, as in my favorite. I've got primer lashes. gold beauty lashes but there's lots in there to choose from so underneath actually looks like this so i'm going to take out this little pouch here this pouch is all of my primers as you can see anything that i can prime the skin with is in this pouch and the pouch is actually from primark the next pouch that's in there is this one so this pouch here is all of my foundations. Yep, it does need a wipe, but it gets so easily messy. Also, we have my contour kit there, dark complexion. Let's take that out so we can see all the different foundations I have. I've got an iconic glow in there. All different shades. So inside the bag again, it actually has a little wallet on the side. This is where I would store all of my palettes when I'm going traveling on a job. So we do have a couple of left in here, sanitizer. Also have a lot of face gems because it's a nice place for them to sit. But I love doing festival makeup. So quite a lot of those, all different gems more palettes down here and i also have a little mini ring light for when i take photos i've actually just smashed my mobile ring light so that's nice i'm gonna have to buy a new one and then the last little section on this bag um is the thumb one that i filled with some palettes so we've just got a sample beauty palette and two morphe palettes it's also actually got another zip here that i use to store another set of makeup brushes in just my extra brushes but now i just put them all in my pots and store them together that all stores really nicely back in that one bag and now let's move on to it so much in here you don't really expect it so i'm gonna work my way from left to right again so this is what it looks like i have all of my lip liners far left all of the brands got some peaches and cream morphe primer Anyway, all different ones in there. Rimmel, 
In the second drawer, I have some spare highlighters and I also have my NYX glitter glues all together and also eyelash glues all together. In this section here, we have all of my lip glosses and lipsticks. So this goes down really deep. So a couple of my favorites are the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs, Charlotte Tilbury. This is a lovely one as well, Penelope Pink. Another of my favorites is the Peaches and Cream Lip Glosses. Um, I love the shade Bambi. In this little section, I have all liquid and some normal glitter, chunky glitter. So we've got some of the Beauty Bay liquid glitters here. They're amazing. Um, we've got the Urban Decay Heavy Metals. We've got the Collection Glitter, which I love. These are the Gypsy Shrine chunky glitters. They're great for festivals. And then here are all my glitters and pigments. So I have them facing up so that you can see all the names of them. As you can see, this one's exploded, so I do need to clean this, but honestly, I can't even count the amount of times on my finger that one of my glitters exploded, and it ends up like this again. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it needs cleaning again. So this is my waiting area bench, and I got this from Tides in Brentwood. I absolutely love it. The sale at the time, just because they had too many in stock, matches my decor perfectly and I absolutely love it. It's so comfy as well. It's not one of them benches that gives you a numb bum. It's exactly what I was looking for. Now we've just got this little display here. So this mirror tray is from Dun Elm and I absolutely love it. I've just got a hand sanitizer there from Superdrug with my loyalty cards because I always forget to give them out. I have my P. Louise diary there. So that it, I don't know, I think it just goes with the room to be honest. Look at this pink. Love filling that out every day. Two champagne or Prosecco glasses that my mum actually donated to me. Um, before Covid I used to love giving my clients a glass of Prosecco. And I think they're from TK Maxx. They're actually the floating ones where it looks like the drink's floating in the glass. Next in the room, I have my teeth whitening laser. And this is from Hollywood Whitening. Um, I actually did all my training with them and use all of their equipment. I'll turn it on now to show you what it looks like. The light up and the screen looks like that. And then you can start whitening people's teeth. This is my beautiful, huge mirror. This mirror was actually from Ikea. I can't remember what it's actually called, but it's the biggest one. I'm just a sucker for a huge mirror in a small room. No one that makes the room look bigger. And I love it. I could take selfies in it. And yeah. Moving on to my backdrop from RL Designs on Instagram. And he made the backdrop for me. I just gave him my logo and I'm really happy with it. I actually had to shorten it because um, the ceiling in here does actually decline towards the back of the room. So I had to make it shorter. This makeup artist chair is from Argos and it is absolutely perfect because if I have a chair too short, it does give me a backache. And with this one, I haven't had a backache since. It comes with all little pouches on it so people can put their phone in there or their drinks and there's even one on the back. And it does say professional makeup artist on the back of the chair. So this is my little trolley that I always have next to me. And it is so handy to have a little trolley, honestly. It's from Ikea. I think it was only around 15 pound and I couldn't live without it now. I actually have these pots to store all of my makeup brushes. So you can't see, but this one says skin, powder and that one over there says eyes it's actually easier because i can actually find my brushes easier i actually got these from etsy and they're from a company called inspirecosmetics.co.uk and they are on instagram so i just might have my mirrors and my spatula and pad there eyelash curlers setting sprays got to be glued hand sanitizer and also my iso clean which i use in between clients. Next level down, I have all of my eyeshadow palettes, except the ones that are in my travel kit. I have a Morphe Khaki Calling Palette, 
Be Perfect Cosmetics Clientele Palette. I love this one. A Zodiac Palette. This is the BH Cosmetics one. Mrs. Glam Showstopper Palette, which is beautiful. I'll show you inside. So this is inside the Showstopper Palette. Beautiful colors and beautiful glitters. This is also another new one. This is the Yasme Cosmetics Thirsty Palette. I'm gonna show you inside that one. Love that. And also the Ride or Die P. Louise Secret Cinna Palette. This is amazing. And then on my bottom row, I just have my hair dryer, which is the GHD one. I have some hair curlers, which is the Babyliss ones. I have a little mirror and some kitchen roll, because it always comes in handy. So that's my little trolley there. And my last thing is the first thing you actually notice when you step into my studio, which is my Che MUA flowers. I get so many questions on these. These are actually handmade by myself. <laughs> I managed to get some foam letters from some flower suppliers online. I think their website was actually flowersuppliers.co.uk, something along those lines. Ordered the foam letters glue gunned um, artificial flowers in I got from B&M, Brand Bargains, different <laughs> shops like that along the high street, just got artificial flowers and pulled them off their stems, glue gunned them in. And then I also put some ribbon along the sides just to finish them off. And yeah, stuck them on the wall and I'm really happy with them. It's just something that you can say like you've made yourself and given your own little touch. So I hope you enjoyed my studio tour and my makeup storage video like this video and comment if you liked it and also give it a share if you can I really appreciate it if you don't follow me on instagram it is che underscore underscore mua and i do have a lot of makeup videos live on there at the moment on my igtv stay safe everyone see you soon bye